We recognize what a long and trying time you've had. Uh, we know your tribulations, but we want to tell you, we civilians, we want to tell you that we've had our trials and tribulations too, that you're returning to a country which is still at war, a country which uh, has a standard of living which I'm told is not as good as your Red Cross parcels. <laughs> uh, you will find then that you are going to uh, come to a country which is uh, still uh, got a victory. Uh, you found everything as far as the Red Cross went? Well, from 1941, yes, uh, red, the Red Cross. Just you kept had the lads to, going. You had to wait for, for 12 months before you started getting included, huh? Regularly, yes, yeah. about April 1941. Mm -hmm. And what, what do you think of the, uh, of the jetty? Do you think he, he sort of... Does he realise he's losing or does he still think he's winning? Well, the ones we were getting back from the Russian front were only too pleased to be back. Yeah, they and they, they all seemed to think that about this spring, it's all over. They thought that? So the ones I spoke to, yes. Well, let's hope they're right. I'm sure we all had this over that time. Thank you, sir. Thank you, John. All right. Where were you, Captain? I was in Crete, sir. Oh, you were in Crete? Yes, sir. Who were you in Crete? I was in some general, sir. Oh, yes. Oh, oh then you were... Well, then you were... Um, you, you've been least protected personnel? Sir. Have you been, right? Oh, not so bad. Do you have time in Crete? Well, pretty rough time, sir. Yes, heard it's, heard it's very rough. Right. Yes, sir. Yes. Now... <laughs> <laughs> Where were you, Captain? Uh, Crete, sir. In, uh, you were Captain Crete, too? Yes, sir. What were you? I was uh, evacuated 26 General, sir. Were well, you another protected person? Yes, sir. And you had your worst time, I suppose, in, in Greece, did you? Yes, sir. Was it all right when they got you to Germany, then? Or would you stay there sometime? Well, we're pleased to get in at the time, sir. Yes, <laughs> I bet you were. Hi, sir. <coughs> all ready? 
Where were, where were you, uh, Captain? I was Captain in Belgium, sir. Are you in Belgium? Who were yes, you with? Sir. With the 10th CCS. Oh, the 10th CCS. Medical Corps, yes. So, sir. did you use the estate arm? Did you, were you down at Dunkirk? Uh, uh, just by Dunkirk. Just by Dunkirk. And you yes, stayed armed with the wounded? Yes, sir. You had, you had a lot of wounded? 1,800 yes. approximately. How did the Germans treat them when they... When they arrived, right. not too well, sir. Not too well. But uh, they treated this very shortly. Yes. And after that, they <coughs> evacuated our wounded. Yes, okay. In my to the fact that this war not over. Much has yet to be endured. Think of your comrades whom you've left behind. They're still unfree. Think of Europe. It is still unfree. You and I and the people of this country are going to join together to free your comrades and free the world. That's our welcome this morning. I'm sure you must be very, very pleased to be back. Yes. Ah, sir, thank you. Who's got a nice for us? <laughs> Any lady? That's the King's message. Well, really, I'm come to greet you on behalf of all the services and to say how extraordinarily glad we are to get you back. It's been a very long time waiting. It's been a very long time for people in this country waiting to, for you to come home. We've had disappointments. You've had disappointments. And at last, it's all through. Is that enough? Thank you, sir. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, just about uh, there, sir. I'll hold it. Could you talk out there, please? Sir?